everyone, it's Jan with What You Make It, and I am excited to get to share something with you today that um, I've known for a little while that I was going to get to do, but we are ready to um, get this thing going. And what it is, is two wonderfully talented ladies, Rena and Jamie, ha are launching a new scrapbooking kit club. And you all know that I love working with... Um, with scrapbooking kits because it lets me test out a lot of things, try new products, find out if I really like them. They usually have some great embellishments, um, so you get you can try more things. And when Jamie and Rena asked me if I would be part of their launch team for their new kit club, I said, of course, I would love to do that. And the name of their kit club and where you can go is bellavitascrapbooking.com and right now we are giving you some sneak peeks as to what is going on but there's a lot of excitement that's that will be coming with this launch they're including some really great new products from um, winter CHA so some things that you may not have been able to get your hand on yet um, you'll actually get to, to play with a little bit. And I'm going to show you what came in my kit. And then, but I also wanted to let you know that if you sign up during March to be part of their, I think it's their six month subscription, then you will next month in your April kit, you will um, be getting a extra little bonus, which is going to be one of the delusions spray mists, which are so fun. I am... I'm anxious to share some of those with you. Um, I've been playing with those a little bit. Let me bit. show you the fun kit that I got. They sent me their main kit. They sent me the embellishment kit. And they sent me the color kit. And I have to tell you, I'm loving getting this color kit because there's some things in there that I hadn't gotten to play with before. So let me show you the papers first. These, most of these are from my mind's eye the collectible collection and i love them love 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 them love this one um jen allison who is the designer of these papers i just i think they're great i like that the a sides are things that i would totally use but the b sides just really extend the paper a lot so there's that and then there is this one that is a hexagon, honeycomb kind of thing. I love all the little, um, I like the smaller scale of this. I think it'll be great for a couple of cards. Then we have a very neutral stripe on the back. Love this pink. Very, very, very pretty. These are all from the collectible, um, my mind's eye collectible. Then this fun, this is just so playful. I, I'm ready for spring, I think. I think I am. I'm not ready for summer, and so I'm probably being a little um, little reticent about spring because I don't want to just zip through it to, um, to summer, but I'm ready to do some spring projects and really excited about this. Love this herringbone um, green on the back. It's just really cool. So many fun things. There's some great elements to these as well. This one has little Polaroid frames that we can cut out and use individually or use them. This great motif here of the swirls. Pretty yellow on the back. I mean, just gorgeous spring colors, I'm telling you. Then a small hexagon and kind of this grayish green. Love it. And I love the stripe. I I am always glad when a collection has a multicolored stripe in it because I'm going to use it on cards. I can use it as a little strip to kind of on a scrapbooking page. I mean, there's just so much that you can do. Then there's this great quatrefoil in this teal. Love this color. And then it has a stripe on the back, kind of a um, distressed stripe on the back. Creams and pretty pink. And this crosshatch with gray. Love it. This one is circular. 
and these kind of grayish doilies love that this is a great companion piece of paper to this one it's the cross hatch but it gives it in more of a tone on tone which sometimes is what you need more than another and then this fun little it looks like jacks maybe is what it is then you get a couple of um of the Tim Holtz Distress Coordinations cardstock, which is great. So lots of really fun things. So you can kind of see we've got some teals, some greens, some pinks, um, and some yellows that are going to just be great for our spring projects. So I'm going to just, you know what, I'm just going to leave the pink here for you to see the some of the embellishments that come in your main kit. Okay, you get some really fun Petaloo flowers. I love these. They have done a great job of doing some color um, coordination for you. I am excited about the brads. Really pretty. I love that some of them are word-oriented, sentiment-oriented. The great... I like the variety of size. You know, sometimes you get brads and they're all of one thing, but this gives me lots of things to choose from. So you also get one of the decorative stickers. Great sentiments, great for titles, great for cards. I, I'm crazy about enamel dots, so those are, are very exciting. You also get some of the tiny word stickers. Love these just to add in as little um, elements to a project. I really like the, the brisk cream clean colors that we have for spring. You get a package of these fun, 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 fun mistable flowers. These are also by Petaloo. And with the color um, color kit that you that you can get, very fun to color these up. So I'm sure I'll be doing that. Some fun little roses in blue and pink. Again, really well matched. Some twine, Baker's twine in pink. Really fun fun wired ribbon. I am kind of been playing a lot with wired ribbon these days and I'm pretty excited about showing you some things. Some Ziva Creative um, Pearl Flourishes. Very fun. I like the size of these. They're great for putting on cards or just tucking behind an element on a scrapbooking page. I like this card with the butterflies that coordinates with the, the papers and says perfectly imperfect. Don't know if I will use that as a um, journaling spot or if I will end up making a card out of it. And then in your main kit, you get a bottle of Stickles in Aqua. Perfect for so many other things. And you also get some of this lace. So very, 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 very fun things in the main kit. So let me put this away and I'll come back and I'll show you what you get in the embellishment kit. I am also super um, tickled to get to play with this embellishment kit. Um, I think that embellishments are the thing that allow us to take our projects up to that next level and to have just a few more things to draw on. And I love the playful things that they've added. They have put in some of the um, Petaloo feathers. You get 40 of them in these colors that go so well with the kit. Totally going to have fun with that. This really kind of rich um, extra flourish here with the it's one of the Prima Say It in, in Pearls in the pink love it just I will probably be taking pieces of it but I just think it's so opulent I love these um, these elements then to have these really fun stick pins that we can either add some other beads to or just use as they are very fun you do get the dimensional layered stickers that, again, I think some of them are going to be perfect for a card, but I think some of them are going to be great as for working as titles for some layouts. So those. And then this one is really fun. I want to actually take this out and show you. Um, these are... I'm trying to think what they're called. They're um, wooden tile embellishments. And they come 
in here. I wanted to take this out for two reasons. One, I wanted you to see the, the tiles. And this one, um, you have the words to spell out always and lovely. So very cool. Um, you get the these four cards that are part of it. You can create the, use them just by themselves, use this as a journaling card. I think that one of these I'm going to use um, as kind of a focal image on a card, but then I wanted to show you that in the back of the packaging there are these triangles and they're printed with great colors and I think they would make a great banner. So I'm probably going to do something with this packaging as well. I wanted to show you that. And then you also get these four um, stamps from Prima and one says perfect, amazing, precious, and love, which will be great for some spring projects. So let me put these away and then I'm going to come back and show you the color kit because this is where I got a little giddy. Okay, so this is the color kit and so much fun. First of all, you get one of the new Tim Holtz Distress Paints and these are really hard to get your hands on. I'll just say that. Um, you get it in antique linen which is going to be a great neutral to work with on um, our projects. I'm definitely going to be using that. Then you get one of the Adirondack color washes in lettuce and it's just the perfect green to go with this kit. So we'll be doing some misting techniques with that. This is a permanent ink. If you want to um, use it with material that if you want to dye um, material, this this is permanent kind of stuff. So it's it's a very um, intense color pigment, a um, lot of fun to play with. So having fun with that, and then the perfect pearl mist in kiwi um, has some kind of a neutral color, but then it's got that green shimmer to it. So very, very, very fun. And then you also get the cotton candy stickles. So between the teal um, stickles and the cotton candy and the kiwi and the lettuce and all of this, we have some really fun color techniques that we can work with as well. I can't wait to get started with some of these things. Um, I've got some cards planned for us. I've got a scrapbook page or two and maybe even a mini album. I'm going to work my way through from start to finish using as much of the kit as I possibly can. But you'll want to be sure and mark on your calendar on March 8th to go place your order with them. And in the meantime, go check um, them out on Facebook, like them, and be entered for a drawing to win some of their cool prizes. They're fun girls, and I think that you're going to enjoy the kits. Thanks, and I'll be back with a project soon. Mm -hmm.